Hi, in this video, we are going to have a look at the three dimensional trigonometrical problems. First of all, let's have a look at the basic trigonometrical ratios and the Pythagoras theorem. Let's consider this triangle with the angle theta. This is going to be the right angle in this triangle. And opposite to it, we have H, which is known as the hypotenuse. Opposite to this angle theta, the side is going to be called O, which is known as the opposite. And the other side is going to be A, which is called the adjacent. The Pythagoras theorem is H squared is equal to A squared plus O squared, which is the longest side of the triangle to the square is going to be the sum of the squares of the other two sides. This is normally used when we are dealing with three sides of the triangle. Suppose we are working with the angle theta and two of the three sides, we are going to use circuit. What is circuit? Which means sine ratio is sine theta is equal to opposite of a hypotenuse. The cosine ratio is going to be cos theta is equal to adjacent of a hypotenuse. And the tangent ratio is going to be tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. As you can see, so it's sine opposite hypotenuse, cos adjacent over hypotenuse, and tan opposite over adjacent. Let's consider this example when we have a cube point with AB 4 meter, AD 3 meter, and BF 12 meter. As such, BC is going to be 3 meter, DC is going to be 4 meter, EF, HF are going to be 4 meter, HE, GF are going to be 3 meter, and AE, DH, and CG are going to be 12 meter. Now, we have to calculate AC, which we don't know. This is going to be AC. Let's have a look at the diagram in Google Sketcher. We have to find the length AC. This is going to be the length AC. So, this is triangle ABC. By rotating, we can show that. The triangle ABC is a right angle triangle. So we can draw the right angle triangle ABC as such with AB4 meter and BC3 meter. So what we want to find is AC, which is H, the hypotenuse. We are going to say using but A, Pythagoras theorem, H square is equal to A square plus O square, and H square is going to be AC to the square. This is going to be equal to 4 to the square plus 3 to the square, which is equal to 25. So AC is going to be square root of 25, which is equal to 5. Meter. This is how we calculate AC. Next, we want to find the length AG. So, AG is going to be from A to G. Over here, what we can see is this triangle A, C, G. Now, if this is a right angle triangle or not, Let's see. Coming back to the diagram in Google Sketcher, we already had AC. Now we want to find AG. So AG is going to be this length. Now is this triangle ACG a right angle triangle? Yes, if we rotate it, we can see that ACG is going to be a right angle triangle in the cuboid. So, if we draw the right angle triangle like this, AC being on the floor and 
CG, the height. And AC, we already have it 5 meter from part A. CG is the height, which is 12 meter. And we want to find this AG again using Pythagoras theorem. AG to the square is going to be equal to 5 square plus 12 square. And this is equal to 169. So we want to find AG. AG is going to be equal to square root of 169 which is equal to 30 meter. This is going to be the answer for part B. Next, we want to find the angle that AG makes with the flow ABC. This is going to be the angle GAC, like this. And we are still working with the triangle ACG. So this is going to be the angle. We are going to call it fit. This is going to be the opposite, this is going to be the hypotenuse, and this is going to be the adjacent. Now, to find the angle, we are not going to use Pythagoras theorem, but stem. We are going to use su ka tua. Now, we know the adjacent, and we know the opposite. Adjacent and opposite are found in tua. So, we are going to use tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. Now, tan theta is equal to the opposite is going to be 12 meter divided by the adjacent, which is 5 meter, and thus theta is going to be tan inverse 12 over 5. And using a calculator, the answer is going to be 67.3 degrees. Last part of this question is to find the length AM where M is a point of G and H. So if we have G and H, M is going to be the midpoint. So we have to find the length AM. But how are we going to find this? Suppose we drop a perpendicular from M to the length DC and we are going to call this N this is going to be the triangle AMN but now we need to know AN first to be able to find AN so we are going to use triangle ADN and then the triangle AN and now if we have a look at the viewpoint where M is the midpoint of J and H and N is the midpoint of D and C. Thus, we are going to find the length AN first and then the length AN. Okay. So, if we rotate it first, we can see that ADN is a right angle triangle as such. If we use ADN as the right angle triangle, where AD is equal to 3 meter, but this time DN is going to be 2 meter. Why 2 meter? This is going to be equal to DC divided by 2, which is equal to 4 divided by 2, and this is 2 meter. Now, using Pythagoras theorem, AN to a square is equal to 3 square plus 2 square, and this is going to be equal to 13, therefore AN is going to be equal to square root 13. Now, we want to find the length A M. So we are going to have a look at the triangle A M. A M N. This is again another 
right angle triangle. As you can see, A, N, L, A. This is going to be the right angle over here. So, if we take the triangle, A, N, N, this is going to be the right angle, A, N is going to be square root 30, and N, N is the height, which is similar to BF as 12 meter. This again using by the Agobas theorem AM to the square is equal to square root 13 to the square plus 12 to the square. This is going to be equal to 157, and therefore AM is equal to square root 157 and the answer is going to be 12.5 meter and this answer is given to three significant figures. Now we are going to have a look at the angle of elevation. What is the angle of elevation? The angle of elevation of an object as seen by an observer is the angle between the horizontal and the line from the object to the observer's eye. So suppose we have an object over here and we have the observer over here. Okay, this is line of sight, which is the line connecting the object to the observer's eye. And this is going to be the horizontal line from the observer's eye. This angle which the horizontal is going to make with the line of sight, which we are going to call it alpha degree, this is going to be known as the angle of elevation. Now, let us have a look at example 2. In this example, we have four points on the ground which are making a rectangle ABC with AB 12 meter and BC 5 meter. And we have a tree at the point D which is of the height 30 meter. Now, the question is calculate the angle of elevation of the top of the, of the tree from the point A, first part, and then from the point B, second part. How are we going to do that? So let us have a look at the four points on the ground level in Google Sketchup. These are going to be the points A, B, C, and D, making a rectangle on the ground. Now, we have been told that there is a tree at the point D. So, let us draw a line like this. This is going to be the top of the tree. Okay, so, as you can see, in this way, this is the ground level, and this is going to be the tree. This is going to be the top of the tree. Now, what we want to find is the angle of elevation from the point A. From the point A, what is going to be the angle of elevation? We are going to take it from the, from the point A to this point, that is, the top of the tree. Now, let's rotate this diagram to see. So, on the ground level, we have the point A and the point D, and this is a tree, the top of the tree is here, this is going to make a right angle triangle. So, we can say that we have A, B, I'm sorry, this is going to be D, and this is going to be the top of the tree, we are going to call it D. What is this length? This is going to be 5 meter. And what's going to be this length? This is going to be the height of the tree which is 30 meter in the question. So, the angle of elevation of the tree from A is going to be this, and we're going to call it theta. So let theta be equal to angle of elevation from, of course, of the tree from a. So, as we can see, we are dealing with 
the opposite and this is going to be the adjustment of course this is the high continuous I'm going to use Sokato using Sokato we are going to use Tan because we, have the, we are dealing with the opposite and the adjacent Tan Theta is equal to opposite of adjacent so Tan Theta is equal to opposite is 30 and the adjacent is 5 so Theta is going to be equal to Tan inverse 30 over 5 and the action we are going to get it by the calculator that is tan inverse 30 over 5 and this answer is going to be 80.5 degrees now next we want to find the angle of elevation of the top of the tree from the point B so here is the point B and the angle of elevation is going to be obtained by the triangle B, D at the top of the tree. But for that, we need to find the length B, D first. So, in this case, we are going to have to work with two triangles. Which are the two triangles? First is this triangle B, D. So, from the triangle A, B, and D, this is 12 and this is 5 meter. Again, writing the triangle, we're going to use Circato. Oh, of course, we're going to use Pythagoras theorem. So, B D is going to be equal to 5 to the square plus 12 to the square. And this is equal to 169, so BD is going to be equal to square root 169, which is equal to 30, 30 meter. So we have been able to obtain this point 30 meter. As you can see, this is going to be right in the triangle. Okay, but now what we want to find is this. We have the length B. D and this is going to make a right angle triangle. Okay, this is a floor and this is a tree. This is going to be a right angle triangle. Okay. So we are going to draw the triangle B, D, T, where T is going to be the top of the tree. So this is going to be 90 degrees and B D is 13 meter as calculated over here. And the height of the tree is 30 meter as seen before, the angle of elevation of the top of the tree from B is going to be this, we are going to call it out. So let alpha be equal to the angle of elevation of tree from B. So we are again going to use Sukatwa. And once again, as you can see, this is going to be the hypotenuse, this is going to be the opposite, and this the adjacent. So we are going to use tan again. So tan alpha is going to be equal to opposite over adjacent. Tan alpha is going to be equal to opposite is 30 over the adjacent which is 13 and therefore alpha is equal to tan inverse 30 over 13 and this is going to give us 66.6 degrees and this is going to be the angle of elevation of the top of the trip from the 